Hi everyone, I just want to make an updated tutorial of how to set up your chaotic plugin. Okay, so let's go over to YouTube, which is where you'll first watch a video. Like so let's this. get started. First, quick swap L. Pick my sky. It's always good to have a few folders. I'm just going to go with this one. Right, now just literally paint it in. Brush is at 100%. Literally just paint in. And as you can see, that's acceptable as it is. And zoom in a little bit. You can see the edges are looking pretty good. All right. If we needed to, we... Okay, so after you watch, it, watch the video and then you're going to look for just show more. And in the description, you'll find the website. Uh, once you click that link, you'll end up over here. Or actually, you'll end up over here. And then just go to products. And then retouches plus five. And then what you want to do here is first create your account, fill in, fill in the form. You can leave this area empty and then that will be a trial account. And then next thing that you're going to do is download your, uh, download your, the, the one that is for your computer if you're using a Mac or Windows. And then when you're done downloading, you can also go over to the tutorials over here and then you can watch the Windows install it that is plus 5 on Windows or on Mac and then once that's done you'll open Photoshop and then go to window extensions and retouches plus 5 okay so you'll obviously be logged out once you log in you'll get this window here click on close to main menu and then we just want to make sure that our brushes the chaotic brushes are installed and it's selected so we'll right click and click on the gear icon and then just check in the list if your chaotic brushes are here which is v5.2 and then if it's not in the list click on load brushes or import brushes and then just browse for your chaotic brushes and then we will go over to the settings go down till you see custom sky textures path click on that and then browse for your sky folder so um i, I actually prefer that you use the chaotic skies when you do your sky swap because uh let me show you uh so i've chosen my my, my sky path now I'm going to go to manipulation and do a sky swap. So on this image, I'm going to do quick swap L because the sky is light, uh, basically white and light blue. So quick swap light, choose my sky. And then I just want to use the polygonal lasso tool to protect this wall here because the wall is white. So just like that. And then up here, double click. Okay, now I'm going to choose the paint brush again and then just brush in my sky. Now I'm going to deselect. Now I just want to click onto the sky layer and then bring up my levels. We have an icon for that. Bring up the levels, lighten the sky a bit, brighten it up a bit. You just want to basically match the background with the foreground and then click OK. You can also bring up your hues and saturation if you want to just play with the color a bit. Um, let's zoom in over here and just look at how our edges looks. OK, so no fringing. OK, looks fine. But let's say, for example, you want to play with the edges a bit. You want to play with the edges of the branches. You can click onto your differentiate in layer. By default, it's on 25% full, on 25 full. You can just click on the name full and then drag to the right or to the left. You can play with that. So 25 is actually fine on this image, so I'm going to leave it at that. You can also double click onto the Gaussian Plus Smart Filter there and play with that. Um, let's say, for example, I chose the wrong sky. Um, what you can do is go over to 
go over to your Seagraph tools and then click Chain Sky. And then just choose your new sky. Oh crap, I clicked too many times. Yeah, you just want to make sure that you click once. <clears throat> I clicked too many times, so let's just see now. Okay. Um, now, I actually want to just lighten this a bit more. Something like that. Okay, I can also fill up my sky. And I can also render video. So if you want to actually save a video of this, you can go to Window and then Timeline and then click Play. If you just want to watch the animation. Okay, so mine's buffering now, but um, this the sky is basically moving. So let's change this, choose a different one. Um, let's try that one there. Ah, oh, this one looks better. Okay. Uh, yeah, then if you want to save your video, just click on the render video. Okay, so. Okay, let me just explain the sliders as well. The sliders is basically just to um, stretch the, the sky or shrink it, squash it down, or you can move the sky higher or lower. Now, I know that you can just select the layer and then click on the move tool and then do those things. But if you do that, your animation is going to be messed up. So, so that looks kind of weird. So that is why I have these sliders here to do it for you. So just to keep your animation intact. That was too far, but anyway. Um, yeah, so that's basically it for your quick swap light. Uh, we do have some other methods of sky replacements like quick swap dark, which works basically similar to the quick swap light, except that's for the darker images like twilight or something. Um, we do have chaotic plane swap, but this I'm actually using a newer version, which you guys are gonna get in like two months or so. Um, you won't have chaotic plane swap. Um, you will have chaotic quick swap and quick swap plus. Uh, chaotic plane swap is a very cool feature. Uh, so this basically brings up a little panel and then with a few sliders you can create a mask and you can you can choose a different channel but obviously you're going to leave it on blue most of the time you can also save presets of your settings here so with load tick off you can just select one of the presets and then click save and then if you want to load if you want to load one of your presets then all you need to do is tick on the load check that on and then click on the 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 the, the preset basically and then that will bring up your settings again okay so i don't have anything there so it's not doing anything there but i do have one there Yeah, and then just click done. When you're done with your, your changing your settings, click done, and then it will do your sky replacement from there. And now I have a more accurate mask. So I do have some work that I need to do here, but all I can do is I'll just choose my dodge tool, set it to highlights, exposure 100, and just just dodge dodge away there. When I'm done doing that, I can just click apply. You can also click onto your auto mask and then split the view so that you can see what's happening live. You can watch the mask and you can see what's happening to the mask on the side. 
okay and when you're done you can just close that and click apply okay so that's about it for the sky tools um, let's just click snap button oh we can just do the grass quickly click on quick swap G and then just brush in your grass Don't need that. You can also tweak your mask for the grass, for the shadows layer and the highlights layer. You can adjust the hue and saturation, change the color. Okay, we don't really need to do anything with the shadows because we're not in the shadows really. Okay, so snap flatten that as well and done. Hope this helps, guys. Cheers.